Hi everyone, welcome again to this third episode of the Make Your Own Rivet plugin using Python series. So, uh, as I said last time, today we're going to talk about the task dialog. So, let's go. So, let's open the Rivet Python wrapper and go to rpw.ui and click on task dialogs. So the task dialogs, you can find them here and the syntax that you're going to use. So first of all, before going to the script itself, I created a folder as I showed in the first episode. Uh, so we have here an icon, it has a name, it has everything. So let's go to the script. So here from the rpw.ui.forms, I imported console and task dialog that we are going to use today. And as you can see here, I have the variable task dialog, I assigned it to task dialog itself. And then we have uh, many things that we can, we can see in this uh, task dialog. So we have the buttons that you are going to see in a second. We have the footer text, we have the main instruction, we have the main content, and we have, of course, uh, the code to show it. So let's take a look at Rivet if we click on it. So let's put the script side by side to see. So the task dialog is this one. And here we have the main instruction. So this is the one, uh, I mean this one. So you can type whatever um, string or you can assign it to whatever variable that you want to appear in here. The main content is this one. The footer text is going to appear in here. And the buttons that are here. So we have task dialog, common uh, buttons, dot cancel. We have dot OK, close, no, yes, retry, and none. So here they are in Russian because my Windows is in Russian, but normally if your Windows is in English, they are going to appear the same way uh, that they are here in this script. So let's see how can we use this like simply. So uh, I'm going to put a hashtag here and here because I don't need them. I'm going to leave only this one. What I want to show you is we are going to try to get the element, uh, the, the, the ID of this wall. So I have here in the script a wall collector that is going to collect all walls. If you don't know how to do this, you can check the Rivet programming series on my channel. So I, I collected all walls in here and then I'm going to get the wall ID. So in the main content, I want the wall ID to appear in there. So I'm just going to write here, wall, wall ID. And here it's a string to appear as a string. So let's see, I'm going to save it first and then click here. So it's not working because the list has no attribute ID. And this is because I'm collecting walls. I'm getting a list instead of just one wall. So I'm going to choose just one element, the first element of this list, which is the only wall that we have. I'm going to click on Control S again to save and go again here. Yes, so as I expected, I'm seeing the element ID in here. So you can make it um, to look a bit better. If we add a string, let's just type element ID two points and space, control S again. Let's try it now. So there is a problem. We forgot, yes, so we forgot to add plus again. Let's go. So this is it element ID and here. So don't forget the plus because they are two strings and you have to put them 
one plus the other and uh, to get this at the end. So element ID and this is the ID of my wall. So this was it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.